Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at WordPress.com. It's a free online service that allows you to create a website and it's a good alternative to iWeb and MobileMe hosting. Now let's distinguish between WordPress the software and WordPress.com. WordPress is open source software that you can use to build websites. and You can install it on your own server or you can have a professional web host and have it installed there or install it yourself. But WordPress.com is a service very similar to say Blogger that we talked about in the last episode where you can create your own website without having to know all the details about servers and hosting. Now if this is your first time using WordPress.com you start off by giving a sample name for your blog like that and then it will populate a username based on that and you can change either one of these. Then you need to go and check your email to verify your registration. So once you're in you can go to your blog, go to the dashboard for it and you can begin to add posts and modify things in your blog. So for instance let's go and add a new post here and we give it a title. and publish it. You have a lot of functionality over publishing your post, what you can put in them. You can edit them with lots of detail. You can add images and video to it. All sorts of different things. Now the location for your blog uh, will be at that address that we specified at the beginning. So macmosample.wordpress.com and then you can see here the exact address for that first post. And this is what my site looks like. Now I'll get a toolbar here at the top since I'm logged in and I can change different things like I can go in and edit posts, create new posts. I can also add pages as well as posts for things like about me pages and, and resumes and such. I can uh, change a lot of the different settings. Now I can also go back to the dashboard and on the left here I can change a lot of different things including appearance. So here's where I can really change different things like themes for my blog um, and add menus to all sorts of different things, backgrounds, make lots of modifications. You can even set a domain for your blog so you don't have to use the WordPress.com domain uh, which is always a good idea because then you can move to your own host or even leave the WordPress service completely and go to some other service. Uh, and If you've had your mobile me uh, web hosting set up for a domain you can actually switch it to here so that people visiting your site will suddenly then come to your new site at WordPress.com but it will look like it's at the same domain. They won't notice the difference except that your site might look a little different. Now if your website is not a blog don't be put off by the fact that WordPress is a blogging platform. Most websites are in fact blogs even if they're just a series of articles or they have a series of different pages. There's so many different ways you can customize a WordPress blog to not look like a blog at all but just a website with a bunch of different information on it. And since this is free I encourage you to go and play around with WordPress as well as Blogger which I talked about last time and some services I'm going to be talking about in the future to find out what the best replacement for MobileMe's web hosting is for you. So later this summer I also want to talk about using a professional web host and you can use WordPress, the software, there to run your site. As a matter of fact that's what MacMost is. It's a WordPress site. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.